Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're going to be playing Whispering Drain. Now, here you got Sleuth, I guess, listening to this Whispering Drain, trying to fix it. I guess you do end up, <clears throat> excuse me, listening to plumbing to just kind of try and figure out what's going on. But I imagine what would really, really help Sleuth, you know, and I think I've got this one, is actually have the tap pointing towards the sink and into it, as opposed to draining all over the kitchen floor. Um, now this particular puzzle looks like a lot of fun, seems fairly straightforward, so hopefully a bit more approachable than that Monster Monday one where it, I think unanimously we're all agreeing that this is not quite one star difficulty rated. 92% from the Bard, and uh, as soon as I bring it up you'll understand why it's called Silence Down the Drain. Uh, I've had to so kind of shorten it a bit to try and fit it into the title screen. Right, let's take a look at today's puzzle. So, silence down the drain. Sounds a lot more ominous than the thumbnail that I actually created there. And you can see very much that you've got a whisper that's just, you know, all the way down the drain. Right. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Place the digits one to nine, once each in every row, every column, every three by three box. German whispers, of course, that's what it's titled. Uh, adjacent digits along the green line must have a difference of at least five. So if that's a two, these two would have to be seven, eight, or nine, so that they are indeed five more or more away. High digits, six, seven, eight, nine. Low digits, one, two, three, four, and oscillate indefinitely, I guess, until the end of the line between them. Then we have X's and Y's. Digits with an X between them add up to 10. If that's a two, this would have to be an eight to make sure that these two cells add up to 10. And digits with a V between them um, add to 5. So that is a 1. That would have to be a 4 to make sure that these two cells add up to 5. 10s, 10s, 5, etc. Super! That's all the rules we have for today. I think it looks to me highly approachable. So if you want to help Sleuth with his plumbing, or at least solving this puzzle, link will be in the description down below for you to do so. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock, see how I get on. Right, so we know that polarities oscillate. We know that for a V, you've got to have low digits. You can't have something like 6 or 7 add up to a 5, at least not without negative numbers. So we know that all of the following digits are going to be low. And I am going to color it just for my sanity and to avoid making silly mistakes. All of these are going to be low blue for coal and uh, low temperatures and low numbers. And all of the other digits in between are going to be high. Lovely. It's not often that uh, and there we go. We've got low here. That's got to be high. You know, digits in 10. They have to be made up of one low digit, one, two, three, four, one high digit, six, seven, eight, nine. These two cells are going to be therefore high, and this is low. If I really want to, and actually I may end up, it might be part of the solve, just given how much polarity we can actually determine right away. We may want to do the same with the Vs and Xs. Uh, so obviously, to get to a 5, it's got to be 1, 2, 3, or 4. To get to a 10, it's got to be a high and low digit. And it just doesn't seem likely that we've been given all of this information for no good reason. So I'm going to color the grid today. And row two gives us a five. Uh, we've got basically a whole bunch of digits that can't be five. Five can't be on a German whisper line, otherwise the neighbors would be zero or ten. Five can't be as part of a ten, because the next neighbor would have to be a ten. Five can't be on a V, otherwise the neighbor would have to be a zero. So row two, this is a five. And I guess what we're probably, I mean, what I can do, obviously, with German whispers. And I may as well do it, actually. Right. So neither of these cells could be a four. Uh, most restrictive digits when it comes to German whisper lines are fours and sixes. If that's a four, this would require five or more away. It can only be done with the nine. So given there is no four on here, and there's no four in these two cells, well, 4 has to be in the 4 blue digits in column 9. It can only be in here. 1, 4. That leaves me with 2, 3s. This middle digit has to be 8 or 9 to be 5 or more away from the 3. This cell here can't be a 6, mind you. 
because I've already placed the one. So this is seven, eight, or nine. It can't be a six, like I said already. This is two or three because one and four are taken. This is seven or eight to add up to 10. Two, three can't be a six again. So this is seven, eight, nine. Um, I'm not sure I want to keep doing this. I kind of want to look for other clever things like that to actually just minimize my options, but I'm not sure I'm going to be given the choice here. Let's have a think about this. I mean, this is another 789, so we may as well do that and then complete the column with 5 or 6. Not really the clever thing that I was looking for, but yeah, I'll take it. 789, 789, uh, 1, 2, 3. Essentially, I'm just looking for any colored cell that has two neighbor digits that must be unique um, because then that means I can't have a double 9 with a 4 in the middle or um, a double 1 with a 6 in the middle. But it's just, this is going to be slow going if this is all I can do or manage. Can't be just it. So yeah, that can be 6. So that can be 4. That can be 4. This can be 4. This can be 4. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that is all the blues I can pencil mark right now. And yes, can be six, six, six. No. Yep, yep, no. Yep, no. I think I've got them all for now. Okay. Well, yeah, the wealth of information that we have is not necessarily obvious where is the next step, except, you know, 7, 8, 9 in the column, in column 5, that's the only place for a 6. That's a 4, that's a 9. We'll take that. That 9 bounces across and gives us an 8. Excellent. These are not 8s. So whichever one is the 3 will have a 9 next to it, and whichever one is the 2 will have a 7 next to it. Not sure I can do much better. This is not 6 or 8, that's 7 or 9. I guess that's not a 6 anymore. This is 7, 8, or 9. Doesn't really have a huge implication to the neighbors, by the way. I mean, they can still include ones. Often I sort of flip them around in my head, which is not helpful. 6 or 7, because it's not 8 or 9, which removes the 3 option from both of these. 1 and 2 can only be uh, can only add up to 5 with 3 or 4, 2 with a 3, 1 with a 4. This would have to be 8 or 9 with a 1 or 2. Uh, it looks like I have another triple, 7, 8, 9. That's a 6. It gives me a double 1, a 4 in here, a 9 in there. Unfortunately, it leaves us open for a 6 in there, so it doesn't help in that sense. That gives me a 7, that gives me an 8. That means that's the 2, that's the 3, that's the 9. Lovely. 7 in here forces a 1, a 4. This is a 2, 3 pair. That 2 has to be in here, and that's the 3. That can't be a 6 anymore, and it's not a 7. That's another 8, 9. That's not a 3. Just Sudoku. Uh, and it's not a 9 either. That's a 7. That's not 7. Excellent. Moving a bit quicker. Let's have a think. What else? 8s. Not 8s. And not six, so seven, eight, nine. Not a one. Sadly, still two, three, or four with a double nine. No, I can't do a double nine anymore because of this nine. So this not a four. That's a two, three pair. Where does the one and where does the four go? That's the four. That's the one. That's a four. Sorry, one to add up to five. These two cells mean that it can include a six, so... Not learned a huge amount there. Two in here means this is another seven, eight, or nine, except you know, I actually know what they are. That's nine. That gives me seven. That gives me eight. That's not eight. These cells, let's just have a think about it. So it's not one nine. Can't be two eight because it's taken. Can't be three seven because 
again they're taken so this is four six that's the six that's the four that gives me a seven in here gives me a nine in there isn't a four but basically it could be anything else not four not four not four i mean how many more not fours do you need we need one two three and five in here not sure i want to pencil mark that So we essentially have like a virtual 2-3 pair between these. Essentially with 4-6 and 1-9 gone, we have another 2-3 with a 7 or 8 in here. So between us, these 2-3s are gone. And then I'm left with a 5 that I need in the column. That's the only place for it. And then the second 7-8 is up here. Whichever one this isn't. Um, seven, it's not there, seven, I mean, I don't want to start corner pencil marking just yet, so I'm just going to persist, uh, this can't be a four, this can't be a four, in fact, that's a one, two pair with an X to the seven, that's a three, that's not a three, one or two in here means that's eight or nine, it's not a nine, that's eight, that's two, that's one, that is a bunch of digits, I mean, I haven't really limited this one. 7 in here gives me 9 down there, which also means this is actually quite high with the 1 and 2, and the 1 and 2, that's a 3-4 pair. Interesting. So if there is a 3-7, it's 3 and 7, but the 2 and 8 could be anywhere. Hmm. 7, 8, 9, triple... So, I mean, where is 7 in box 8? It's got to be in here. And therefore, this is, I'm going to say 4, 5, 6. 4, 6, that's, no, it's not 4, 6. It's not 4, 5, 6. Sleuth, come on. 2, 5, 6. In fact, again, 2 means that's 2. That's a 5, 6 pair. rest of this now, I'm going to say it's 3, 4 to complete the row. That's not four, that's three, that's seven, that is four, that's a two, that's an eight. And that leaves this seven, remember that corner pencil mark I didn't want to do, that gives me a two, three pair, that two gave me the two, the three, the one, the two, the one. This is three and six, that can't be the six. Six, three, eight and something, well the eight is here, eight and five, lovely. Gives me six and five, lovely. One of these is gonna be a nine. That's not the nine. And the reason I said that is one of them is gonna be a four and requires a double nine. That's four, that's nine. That's three. Two in here, gave me three there and a seven, and therefore an eight. Nine in here gave me an eight. And the five and six, have we done anything with them? Yeah, it doesn't really matter at this point. We've basically solve the puzzle. One, two, three. So this could be four and six or one, three, four. This could be two and eight. No, it can't be with this eight. That's four, that's six, that's five. Right, let's just wrap this up now. With dazzling Sudoku, of course. And that is an eight. That six did actually solve the five and six, if I paid attention. That is a two. I need one and six, I'm going to say. That's one. That's six. Five and nine. That's nine. That's five. Just Sudoku now at this point. These two cells, seven and four. Four, seven. I need nine, which can only go in here. I need a three, which is there. I need five and six, I'm going to say. Five, and if I've not made any mistakes, six for the finish. Lovely puzzle. Uh, did it feel like silence down the drain? You know, it's uh, felt a little bit more joyful than that, Bard. So I am going to stick to the thumbnail I've created. Uh, much smoother puzzle for a weekday, without a doubt. I kind of hope this was the Monday one. Hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle and the video. See you back soon. Bye-bye for now.